Hello, welcome you to the world of resources in India. Today, we are going to discuss about mineral fuels and conventional and non-conventional sources. First of all, we discussed about mineral fuels. This picture is the picture of a coal mine center. Do you hear about mineral fuels? For what purpose we used mineral fuels? We depend on mineral resources for our energy demands and also for transportation, industries, uh, etc. And coal, petroleum and natural gases are major energy sources. These are also called fossil fuels. Coal, petroleum and natural gases. Nuclear minerals are also major examples of these mineral fuels. First of all, we discussed about coal. Coal is the major source of thermal power in India. Coal is major industrial fuel. Most of the coal found in India is of medium grade of bituminous type. West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha and Chhattisgarh are the most producing states of coal. The largest coal field in India is Jaria in Jharkhand. The less energy efficient coal namely lignite is found in Naivali in Tamil Nadu. The other mineral fuels are petroleum and natural gases. Petroleum and natural gases is important uh, in uh, the field of mineral. An important oil field in India is Mumbai High shown in this picture. Features of petroleum as and natural gases are petroleum is the chief energy source for transportation through road, rail or air. Other than petrol, diesel etc. numerous byproducts are also obtained from petroleum such as chemical uh, fertilizers, uh, artificial rubber, artificial fibers, Vaseline etc. Petroleum mining in India started at Big Boy in Assam. Petroleum producing states in India are Assam, Gujarat and Maharashtra. The largest of the oil field in Mumbai High in Maharashtra. Natural gas is the fuel of obtained along with this petroleum. Exclusive reserves of natural gases also exist especially along the coastal regions of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. The other most important nuclear power plant is Kudamkulam. It is the picture of Kudamkulam power plant. And another major important nuclear power plants in India is Tarapur in Maharashtra and Rautpata in Rajasthan, Kalpagam and Kudangulam in Tamil Nadu, Kaiga in Karnataka and Kakrapara in Gujarat, Narora in Uttar Pradesh etc. are the major nuclear power plants in India. Now we are going to discuss about conventional and non-conventional energy sources. What is conventional sources? Mineral resources such as coal, petroleum etc. are uh, used for energy requirements. Hence, such energy sources are called conventional sources. These minerals are getting exhausted from the earth due to their non-renewable nature. What do you mean by non-renewable nature? The renewable source is on that can be used repeatedly and does not uh, run out because it is naturally replaced. Otherwise, it is known as non-renewable resources. The burning of these conventional energy sources may <coughs> create large scale of environmental pollution. As a remedy, non-conventional source of energy become used. What are the major non-conventional energy sources? Solar energy, wind energy, wave energy, tidal energy, biogas etc. are major non-conventional energy sources in India. What are the advantages of non-conventional energy sources compared to conventional energy sources? Non-conventional energy sources are cheap, renewable and environment friendly. 
So, non conventional sources of energy are commonly preferred in India. Dear students, in this session, we discussed about various mineral deposits and conventional and non conventional sources. Let me meet in the next session. Thank you.